ग्रीटिंग्स फ्रॉम मनीपाल हॉस्पिटल बानेर पुणे आई एम डॉक्टर करण चंचलानी आई एम अ क्लिनिकल एंड रेडिएशन ऑनकोलॉजिस्ट टुडे वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट कार्सिनोमा ऑफ द सर्विक्स और यूटराइन सर्विक्स और सर्विकल कैंसर एज वी कॉल इट सो सर्विक्स इज बेसिकली द ओपनिंग ऑफ द यूटरस वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड विद दिस डायग्राम सो इन द फीमेल रिप्रोडक्टिव ऑर्गन्स द दिस इज द यूटरस दीज आर द ओवरीज एंड दिस इज द वजाइनल ट्रैक्ट just when the vagina uh, ends and the uterus opens this region is called as the cervix and it is uh, the uh, uh, part of the uterus which is most exposed to foreign antigens and trauma so that is how there is a preponderance of uh, cancer development mainly in the uterine cervix cervical cancer is one of the most common cancer of Uh, indian females it is the most common cancer of the female reproductive tract uh, these days because of certain lifestyle changes and all breast cancer has also become equally or maybe slightly more uh, uh, prevalent uh, uh, until now uh, carcinoma cervix has remained the most common uh, uh, killer amongst the cancers of the uh, female uh, in general so what are the common causes or risk factors for a female to develop uh, cervical cancer so uh, one of the most uh, uh, common or the most impactful uh, is uh, any uh, sexually transmitted infection especially uh, hiv virus uh, so much so that cervical cancer is notified by the who as a part of aids complex also Uh, apart from that there are conventional risk factors so early uh, childbirth early uh, uh, age at the first sexual exposure multiple sexual partners multiple ch- childbirths or children and uh, a history of uh, repeated infections and in general poor hygiene of the genital region is these are some of the common factors that are known to be uh, positive for uh, cervical cancer uh, all these risk factors are basically uh, giving rise to a increased uh, chance of infection with the virus called as hpv virus or human papilloma virus so it has been observed that uh, uh, hpv virus is nearly associated with more than 99% of the cancers of the cervix Uh, so uh, either early or somewhere in the middle of the uh, carcinogenesis this hpv virus is involved in almost every case uh, that we see so few of the common symptoms uh, they, they depend again on uh, on the location so we can better understand with this diagram and these symptoms are initially mild in early stages they become more prominent and more distressing with advanced stages so one of the earliest symptom is like uh, a discharge from this uh, region uh, so it is typically uh, a very common white discharge which is uh, sometimes associated with foul smell sometimes even associated with a bloody discharge uh, additionally the ladies may actually complain of post coital bleeding or bleeding uh, during the time of intercourse so these are uh, tell tale signs for the early stages as and when the tumor starts expanding it starts to invade the surrounding structures so just ahead of this or anterior to this is the urinary tract and behind this uterus is the um, uh, Uh, the the, the uh, uh, bowel or the rectum or the motion tract so uh, depending upon whether they are involved then you may have uh, urinary symptoms like dysuria or bleeding sometimes through the urine also or uh, uh, leakage of urine and similarly uh, leakage of stool or sometimes even constipation or bleeding through the rectum Additionally there are uh, certain other symptoms like vague abdominal discomfort in the lower abdomen loss of appetite difficulty in passing urine so these are uh, the common symptoms that uh, the patient of uh, carcinoma cervix present with so coming to the treatment 
at the outset cervical cancer is one of the most amenable uh, cancers for a complete cure or a radical treatment uh, so much so that uh, e- uh, even in certain stage 4 uh, patients also we have long term survivals beyond 5 years uh, after uh, adequate treatment so briefly it is divided into four stages uh, one two are called as early stage stage 3 is sort of intermediate or advanced stage and stage 4 uh, uh, is either spread to the other organs which is a proper metastasis or it, it can also involve complete involvement of the urinary or the uh, bowel uh, the, the rectal tract so in which uh, case it is 4a so uh, uh, typically in very early stages like stage 1 it they can be cured uh, with uh, even simple uh, 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 radical hysterectomy or even with single modality of brachytherapy which is a form of internal radiation therapy and usually in these cases there is no role of multiple modalities or multi modality treatment Uh, from stage 2 onwards sometimes there is uh, a requirement to add multiple modalities typically in stage 2b onwards uh, definitive radiation therapy with or without chemotherapy depending upon the uh, tumor factors and the patient fitness is the standard of care for these type of treatments up to stage 4a so from 2b to 4a definitive uh, radiation therapy with and with, with or without chemotherapy is the standard of care radiation therapy radiation therapy is basically a form of uh, treatment of cancer with x rays or photons as we call it sometimes other uh, uh, modalities like electrons or protons can also be used specifically for uh, carcinoma of the cervix a uh, uh, deep penetrating uh, higher energy photons are typically used and the entire pelvis is usually our target region as we can see so if this is the cervical region where the tumor is located it can have spread along the parametrium as we call it it can spread to certain lymph nodes around so the entire pelvic region is our target of course we try to uh, Uh, delineate certain critical organs like rectum like uh, anal region like uh, urinary tract urinary bladder to prevent excessive doses from getting delivered there and maybe we can have a more conformal uh, form of uh, radiation delivery thereby reducing doses to the normal structures and preventing uh, long term side effects uh, in general a small uh, discomfort du- uh, in passing urine is expected during the treatment which is self limiting later on similarly uh, 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 some amount of Uh, uh loose motions or diarrhea which is uh, typically because of the malabsorption state uh, is uh, is expected and it is usually again very well controlled with medications and certain dietary precautions that we uh, advise to the patient these days there is also a role of uh, sparing uh, bone marrow sparing imrt or uh, that is uh, sparing the radiation doses to the uh, surrounding Uh, bones where where in resides the bone marrow which is the active site of uh, new blood synthesis or hematopoiesis as we call it in adults so this helps in better tolerance with uh, for the concurrent chemotherapy regimens that we uh, give along with radiation so chemotherapy typically is given to potentiate the form of uh, radiation or to achieve better results and uh, there are uh, time tested studies which show that it adds to the overall cure or overall survival of these patients once this external radiation is completed we uh, later on go for uh, 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 internal uh, radiation or that is called as brachytherapy Uh, brachytherapy is also a, a single modality for very early stage of uh, ca cervix which is uh, sufficient in uh, by itself and sometimes there is no need of uh, external radiation in very early stages for all practical uh, cases that we see internal and external radiation both are combined internal radiation is typically delivered after 5 to 7 days of completion of external beam radiotherapy 
and where uh, uh, during which time the side effects and all have settled and it is usually delivered with an applicator under general anesthesia so uh, because of the anesthesia we can uh, examine the uh, uh, area properly and place our applicator so those applicators are uh, thin uh, tube like structures and then once the placement is uh, confirmed with a CT scan and sometimes these days we use MRIs also so we uh, plan the doses in and around the residual which is there and uh, we deliver very high doses in single sessions usually these sessions are once in a week and the total treatment gets completed in somewhere around seven to eight weeks that is the ideal time for the completion of treatment if we talk about success rate so uh, once this entire treatment is completed we have really excellent survival outcomes of to the tune of 80 to 90 percent in early stage cancers in uh, advanced stage cancers also uh, we, we can expect uh, a long-term survival in more than 60% uh, of the cases it also depends on the uh, tumor factors the stage and everything so but overall the success rates are very good so coming to preventive aspects so how can we prevent uh, uh, cancer cervix formation or more importantly how can we prevent HPV infection which is associated with nearly all the uh, cancer formations so uh, these days um, HPV is understood that it is a sexually transmitted uh, virus and there are certain variants amongst the human papilloma virus which are more uh, likely to cause these cancers and there are vaccines that are available against these selective variants so commonly there were two vaccines which were available till now uh, covering almost up to like nine such variants recently we have an indigenous innovation from india from the serum institute which is again a welcome move as it can it is expected to bring down the cost of such vaccines and it also uh, is more uh, uh, it is also expected to cover the variants which are more prevalent in india so typically these vaccines are uh, advisable before the onset of uh, sexual activity or first sexual exposure uh, so typically they are advised uh, before the age of 18 so anywhere from 12 to 18 years these days we have uh, seen uh, uh, guidelines to be extending this cover up to uh, girls up to the age of 25 years but certainly it has it is advisable before the onset of first sexual exposure there has been some benefit of uh, uh, de uh, decrease in the uh, incidence or, and decrease in the aggression of the tumor in women who are vaccinated between the age of 25 to 45 years also after their uh, sexual uh, activity has started so uh, we may see in near future that the guidelines may extend coverage up to those women also in india it is again a big challenge to cover uh, uh, vaccination for uh, such a large population wherein our focus is mainly on the young girls as i said up to the age of 25 and it is a welcome move by the government recently that they have decided to promote uh, the HPV vaccination and very soon we may have uh, developments uh, in the national program also on this front. So with this I would like to have a take home message that uh, maintaining genital hygiene, uh, uh, having uh, appropriate precautions uh, like condoms, uh, having uh, avoiding multiple sexual partners avoiding multiple childbirths more importantly together can go a long way in preventing this uh, HPV infection and subsequent uh, CA cervix or cervical cancer uh, generation so that is how uh, we can prevent ourselves from cervical cancer thank you